Okay, we are doing routine two. Now the first two exercises that you're going to do are going to be a wide stance goblet squat and then a single arm lat pull down. So for the wide stance goblet squat, what I want you to do is pull the weight up just like this. We're going to have our feet wide and what we're going to do is we're going to actually focus on sitting back in this exercise. And that's going to be a way to make this kind of squat more of a knee friendly based exercise. So what we're going to do is we're really sitting back and it's okay if you lean forward and it's also okay if you don't go until past 90 degrees. We just always want to do these types of exercises within our comfort and control. So we're sitting back, leaning forward a little bit. Again, our feet are slightly pointed out, so our toes are slightly pointed out, our back is staying straight, and we're just going as low as we feel like we can go comfortably, okay? Once you get done with all the reps there, you are going to go over to your lat pull down. So for this, you would have needed a clip just like this. Take, typically there's that lat pull down bar on there, you're gonna have to take that off and put a single handle right here, okay? From there, what you're going to do is you're gonna hold one, we're going to sit down, and we're going to do pull straight down just like this. So your arm is fully extended, then right back. So we'll get done with all of our reps there. Go ahead, switch over, and do the other side. And you should feel this in your back and your bicep. Once you get done with this, go ahead, rest. And then you're gonna move back to your wide stance dumbbell squat. So that's gonna be your A1 and A2. The next two exercises you're going to do are gonna be a machine chest press, and then a dumbbell lateral raise. So depending on the machine that you have, there might be some adjustments. We're gonna push this so it's all the way out. In this case, this one's pretty straightforward. So all we're doing is we're just gonna hold onto the handles and just press straight forward just like this. Do this all within our comfort and also within our control, okay? So like I said, this one is paired with a lateral raise. So do all your reps here. You can stand up. We're having your dumbbells and all the lateral raises is just opening up just like this out to the side. If you have any kind of shoulder issues, what you can do is point your thumbs up and go more in front of your body, okay? So this is gonna be how you modify that exercise. So we'll do all of our reps here, move on over to there, and then go ahead, take a break, and then repeat. The next exercise that we're going to do is the dumbbell row. So imagine that this is a bench right here. What I'm going to have you do is just put one hand on the bench and we're going to row straight up from here. If this is a little bit challenging or if this position is a little bit challenging, you can still be on a bench and treat this like a bench and go just like this. So we want to make sure that we keep our elbow tucked in nice and tight to our body. We want to try to avoid having your elbow out here just like that. So do all your reps on your right side, do all your reps on your left side, and then we're going to go right onto the floor. We're going to do our regular hip bridge. So for the hip bridge, go ahead and lie down and push your hips straight up towards the ceiling. Just like this. So we'll get through with all of our reps. For this exercise, you should feel that in your butt. We'll get through all of our reps here. Take a break, go back to the dumbbell rows until you get through with two or three sets, whichever you decide you're doing. Okay. Next time we still need a pair of dumbbells, we're gonna do a dumbbell push press. So the dumbbell push press is an overhead movement. If overhead movements do bother you, again, just reach out to your care team, we'll give you a modification for this one. This is also fine if you wanna skip as this is in the bonus section. So for the push press, we're going to have the weights right here, and we're going to bend our legs slightly, and we're going to come up, and we're using that upward movement to help us get the weights up. So we're just here, use our legs to get the weight up, and it's going to be an explosive movement. Still so go down under control, press straight up. When you go down, make sure you're under control, and when you go up, make sure you don't hyperextend in the low back. You want to still have our glutes engaged in there too. So that's going to be the push press. From there, we're gonna drop back down to the floor, and we're gonna do an alternating leg lowering exercise. So for this, you can start with both legs up, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lower one leg, and then switch, okay? So for this exercise, try your hardest 
to keep your low back in contact with the floor. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can even crunch up a little bit, just like that. Once you get done with all your reps for there, go ahead and go back to the 